Coucou Je m'appelle Indy, je suis américaine qui vit en France depuis 6 ans. And today, we are going to enjoy some beautiful fall, autumn weather. I found this cute little hike walk that goes from, it starts in Sham and then it goes through a couple of villages. I brought my lunch with me, so if we find a cute spot, we might do a little picnic and enjoy some calm nature, these beautiful views. And then too, I found there might be like a farm that has goat cheese, goats, all of that. So maybe we'll stop and check that out if we find it. It's in the village of Soku. I'm happier here and let's go explore the charm of Sham, France. All right, let's go guys. Right now, we're on La Voie Bleue, the, the blue line, as you can see. Definitely call that because we have this canal, river area. But even just this, it's so cute, so calm. I've passed just like a couple people, but it's just very much countryside, nature, all that. So, but it's really beautiful. I just found this really cute spot. So, I'm gonna enjoy some lunch. I got a like poke bowl, poke bowl type thing. So I'm gonna enjoy that in the sun. <laughs> lunch, had a nice little view, very peaceful and calm, and now we're off to our first village, uh, so cool. I want to mention too, if you want to access this, I'll link below the website I use to look at the route, and you can rather come by car, or there's even a train station in Chao, so it is accessible at least. I feel like I could make a whole video just at this river. Like, <laughs> I just saw a bird that flew by and it was too fast for me to like get it on camera, but it was rather a hummingbird or a Martin Pêcheur. I don't know what that is in English, but it was so pretty. It was like this bright blue and small, but I don't know if Martin Pêcheur, if they are even in this area at this time of year, but so cool. This is the Canal des Vosges, the Vosges Canal. We could actually see like there's the stoplight and then they go in. I don't know if you can hear me as well because we're near the water area, but you can see here, this is where like the boat goes in and then it locks and then they wait till the water fills up. Again, like a normal canal, but still really cool to see. Next stop, so cool. I just found wild blackberries. You can see here, this is the route. It's the gray square with the yellow in it. Ah, 
think I was right. They do have mats on this show. So that's what I saw. I can't get over this. These views are stunning. Like, look at this. Look how beautiful it is. So that lake is on one side, and then you turn here, another bright blue, gorgeous lake. And then where we're headed, the village, you can kind of see it off in the distance. Like, this is so calm and peaceful. And now the crunch. <laughs> so you do have to cross, like, it's like a highway, it's like a road. Um, and then you'll get to, so cool. We're just arriving to so cool but yeah it definitely gives like small village vibes but look how cute this is. It's a little épicerie, like a little store and has a bar attached to it. Though unfortunately it's not open right now. It opens at like 3.30 and it's two, maybe another time. We just left so cool. I tried to get Gucci's. I rang the doorbell, no one answered. It's a family run business, like a husband and wife. So, oh well, another time. So this route, it starts in Sham, or you can really start anywhere. It's like a, a route together, but it goes through four different villages. It takes about five and a half, five hours by foot, but you can see too, there's like lots of bike routes. So this would be really nice to take your bike by the canal, by the river. Um, and then there's even some like shortcuts. If you want to skip a village and make it a little bit shorter, you can kind of cut through. Uh, so pretty versatile, kind of cool, and very beautiful. But we actually arrived in Cham, but we haven't really checked it out yet, so that's what we're going to do next. Explore Cham a little bit, uh, see all of the charm of Cham, <laughs> and then maybe go explore one or two other villages before we head home. definitely a very small town. I will admit it's not too charming <laughs> but I did find just a cute little cafe and we're gonna get a drink. It's like an Italian épicerie, little Italian shop but they have sodas and drinks so we're gonna go do that. too cute. I just went to the little Italian shop and I got a bergamot uh, soda, soda bergamot, and I ended up chatting with the guy, the owner, and I just like asked him a couple questions and then he like sat down at my table and we chatted for a good bit and it was really cute. I was asking him about things to do here and what he thinks about Sham and he definitely said the people here, it's 
not like Nossi, it's more like small town village people. He even said his customers are usually rather tourist or those from around the area, but not from this town. He said that, yeah, the people here, mm, I don't know how to phrase it, <laughs> but he prefers Nossi. He even said that on weekends he likes to go over to Alsace. So there's not really much to do here, which is kind of normal for like a small town, not gobs to do, but there's lots of nature. And he was telling me how he studied in Nancy for several years and now he got a job here. the guy if he would recommend any of the other villages that I had on my list and he said honestly no <laughs> but I decided to come to Florimont anyways just to check it out but I kind of agree with him it's just um, very village there's nothing really to see or do we'll end today with this beautiful view of the countryside so all right well thank you so much for watching let me know if you have any questions and until the next time, gros bisous et à la prochaine. Salut!